Hey everybody, K0LWC, welcome here into the shack tonight. We're gonna to talk about something controversial. Is FT8 call the end of ham radio as we know it? Well, let me play spoiler here. FT8 call is not the end of ham radio. Some hams out there will tell you that FT8 call is the worst thing since, well, the worst thing since FT8. And those old hams that would say that, that are used to the good old days of CW and that's all you need, it's not the end of ham radio. It's just that we don't know what to do with ourselves here at the solar minimum. That's my two cents, that's my thought. I mean, really, FT8 and FT8 call are so fantastic for operators, even like myself, who live in urban areas that don't have a, you know, an opportunity to build a big, huge antenna farm uh, that can't put up a really great antenna system for HF uh, because they're HOA restricted. Um, they just don't have the funds to, to buy a fantastic antenna. It allows them to get into the fun and into the game on HF and make all kinds of contacts around the world, especially right now here at this glut, if there ever was a glut, of a solar minimum that we're experiencing right now here in 2018. But maybe you're not familiar with FT8 call and what it is. Now, hopefully you've heard of FT8 by now. It's been all the rage ruining the ham bands now for quite some time. FT8 call is actually a derivative of FT8, but it's not by the same developer. It's by another ham. FT8 call was created by Jordan, KN4CRD. Thank you very much for your work, Jordan. What many people have said about FT8 is, all it is is a 15 second exchange of the most basic information. What's the received signal? What's your call sign? That's pretty much it to confirm the contact. But what if we want to have a rag chew? Well, here comes FTA call where now we're actually able to have conversations, send messages back and forth uh, with what Jordan has done to the original uh, FT8 system. Again, he took it, it's open source, modified it to be able to actually have conversations back and forth. Now, it should be noted, you cannot use FT8 call with the original WJSTX software. It will not decode it and vice versa. So you have to download the new software for FT8 call. It will not work with what you're currently using for FT8. If you're curious to how FT8 call works, I'm gonna drop a link right here, wait a minute, actually right up here, and I'll actually show you a great video uh, from another ham that explains how to use FT8. I'm not gonna get that technical here, but I just wanna say, FT8 call is not the end of ham radio. I don't care what the hams say, and maybe I'll become that way 50 years from now. Um, it's just that we're in a solar minimum, conditions are absolutely terrible, and FT8 call and FT8 allow us to have fun to still make worldwide contacts when the ban is absolute shit. So again, it's not the end of ham radio. Stop saying it is. I would be willing to bet that when we see us come out of this glut in terms of solar activity and the upswing occurs on the sunspot number, is FT8 gonna go away? Is FT8 call gonna go away? Probably not. There will still be people that will use it, but we're gonna see the transition from people back from the digital side into phone, into CW. We'll see that activity increase because right now, so many stations are playing in the digi space because again, the conditions suck. So please stop saying that ham radio is going to be killed by FT8 and that FT8's not real ham radio or FT8 call is not real ham radio. That's complete and utter bullshit. So please stop saying it. Again, I thought that ham radio is all about finding methods of communication and getting a message from point A to point B and the technical skill and how to do that. Sure, we're using computers as part of this process. Hopefully you can see I have FT8 here running in the background. It's just another tool in the toolbox to experiment with and get to become familiar with. That's what ham radio to me is all about. It's experimentation. So I said embrace it, play with it. If you don't like it, don't use it. But it's not going to kill ham radio. Again, if this was happening at any other time in the solar cycle, I don't think a lot of hams would make as big of an issue as they are about FT8 and FT8 call. Have you experimented with either FT8 or FT8 call? Let me know, tell me your experience down in the comments. What do you think? Is it killing ham radio? Is it the apocalypse? Is this the end as we know it to our great hobby? Again, drop me a comment down below. 
let me know what you think. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe here to the channel. Hit that subscribe button for more great ham radio videos. I'll catch you again next time here from the K0 LWC Ham Shack. See you later.